So in this video, I'll show you how to connect a PS4 controller to your PC completely uh, wirelessly in 2022 running the brand new Windows 11. So for this setup, there's only two things you need. So first your controller and then a computer. Then you need to come to this website link. To get the link, it's in my description under links. You can right click on and then click on copy link. Then you can open up any browser you want and then you can paste it in the link. As you said, it's pretty easy. And make sure when you ever get it, make sure you always get the latest one. So as of today, it's the version 3.0.18. So in the future, if there's like a 0 0.19 or 0 0.20, make sure you get that. And make sure you always get the zip right here. So you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna get something like this. Right? So after you finish downloading, now you're just gonna close it and now you're gonna open up the uh, download folder and then you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna click on one more time. And then you're gonna look for ds4windows.exe. So you're just gonna click on that and then so if you run the Windows 11, you're gonna get this problem to run this uh, program. You need to install .NET. So make sure you click on yes. And now it's gonna point to this page right here. And when you download this, make sure you download the desktop app. You're just gonna click on the 64, or, or if you're running something else, you're gonna click on that. Then click on open. Click on install. Yes. And. and and just install it. As you said, it's pretty simple. And then click on close. Now you can uh, close this up. And now it's going to launch it one more time. And this time it's, it's actually going to launch because it actually installed the thing. Right here, you're going to get two options. Just click on update. It doesn't matter. And now click on yes. And now you're going to get this uh, option right here. So you're just going to close the other stuff except for these two. And right here. And as you said, for the step one, it's just going to click on the step one. Click on I accept, install. Then it's going to start installing. As you said, it's pretty simple. And then you're going to click on finish. So for step two, it's only for the Windows 7 user. So if you're using Windows 7, you need to install that. But for us, we're in Windows 11. So let's say we don't need to worry about that. We can just close it. And as you said, there's a controller connected. So now you're just going to grab your controller. Then you're going to hold the share and the police but at the same time until it's going to start flashing. It's going to start flashing just like this. And now on a PC, you need to open up the uh, Bluetooth option because this is the complete wireless method. And after you open up this, you're going to click on Add Device, click on Bluetooth, and now you should see a wireless controller. Tap on that, it's going to connect within a few seconds and click on Done. And now just close this. Now, as you said, it still doesn't controller. That is why you're going to click on this right here. It's a refresh, and boom, just like that, your controller is going to pop up, and then you're going to see it's not going to start a flashing. And now if I just uh, move this right here, this tag, as you said, it's actually working. It, it, that is crazy. Look at that. It, it is actually working. And also the color, you can actually change up the color as well. So if you just click on the color and click on use custom color, you can actually change up any of this color right here. So if I just want this to be like a, a red, I can just do that or even green. Just go on the green and close it. You're going to see it's going to turn green. And also there's a, a thing called profile. So if you actually want to customize your controller, you can actually do that using this. With this, you can actually customize every button on a controller. So if you're running a, a PS game that does not support a controller like CSGO, Valorant, you can actually use the software to play those games as well. After that, you're just going to name it and then you're going to click on save. And then you're going to go, go back. So I'll actually show you guys. So if you just type in anything, then click on save. And now on a controller, you're going to see the profile, right? You have to click on the default, then you're going to click on that, and then you're going to select that. After that, you're going to click on stop, a refresh, and then you're going to see it's going to switch to the profile really quickly. So if I just open up the Steam, and as you said, the controller is already recognized. And also, you can go to the setting to change up the controller. So just go to the setting and click on controller setting. So for the controller, you can leave it like this. And if you click on the identify button right here, you're going to see it's going to start vibrating. So we're just going to go back and we're going to go to the library and show you guys one more thing. So if you're playing any game on Steam, for example, you're going to see on the next to the controller, next to the game, you're going to see a profile in the top. So as you can see, for this game, it's saying that controller is supported. But for this one, it's saying keyboard. So that's, it's not going to work. For Watchdog, as you can see, the controller is supported. So for like in those kind of game, you're going to see it. And also if you see the full controller, that means it's fully supported. So now I'm, I'm just going to quickly open up a game to show you guys how well does the controller work.
As you can see the PS4 control works absolutely fine. I'm legit playing GTA 5 by using a PS4 controller. That is crazy. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you need to watch it. Just know you can always and subscribe later. So make sure you double check the subscriber and see you guys next time. Peace out.